So question number one. If the length of the transmission line is increased, its capacitance will. Okay, a capacitance per farad or a capacitance farad per unit meter. We have formula for the formula. Capacitance in the unit is farad per meter length. Hope you all remember the formula. Capacitance of a transmission line is given by pi epsilon 0 divided by ln d by r farad per meter. So, capacitance per meter length. Aana. So, this is uh, capacitance per unit length. Apa? For normally, capacitance in a formula in the aerium. Just capacitance a math running. Just capacitance. We are speaking about capacitance of the just line alone. Okay, it is pi epsilon 0 divided by ln d by r into length of the line. This is in farad. This is farad per meter. Into length of the line. Okay. But normally this formula. In that epsilon 0 permittivity of free space. D is the distance between the two conductors. And R is the radius of each conductor. Okay. Hope you all remember the formula. Pi epsilon 0 by L and D by R. So it is. Capacitance is always directly proportional to the length of the line. Okay. Length in order. It is directly proportional. So question. If the length of the line is increased. Capacitance will. Directly proportional. Eh, per? In the area, line length code, obviously capacitance the transmission line like code. So option A no ka increase, B is decrease, C remain the same, D none of the above. So option A is the answer. Farad per meter lana number basic formula of a transmission line le, capacitance of a transmission line per chat. Okay. C A B. And the conductors and if these two are the conductors A and B. And if the spacing between the conductor is B and radius of the conductor, each conductor is R, pi epsilon 0 by L and D by R, farad per meter length. The capacitance alone at the kanya of the conductor CAB is pi epsilon 0 by L and D by R into L. That is the length of the transmission line, farads. So obviously, capacitance will increase if you increase the length of the transmission line because it is directly proportional. Yes. So, second question. Capacitance between two conductors of a three-phase line being two microfarad, the capacitance of each conductor to neutral becomes. If uh, CAB is the capacitance between two conductors okay then what is the value for CAB CAB is pi epsilon 0 divided by ln d by r farad per meter but if the capacitance of each conductor to neutral or the midpoint is taken three phase line learning conductor, conductor to the neutral if CAN or CBN is the capacitance of each conductor of each conductor to neutral then CAN is twice CAB twice CAB that is 2 pi epsilon 0 divided by ln d by r hope you all remember so directly the value C A B Atriana C A B is given as C A B is given as 2 microfarad. So check another C A N neutral value of capac capacitance of each conductor to neutral on So it will be twice of this value. So it will be 2 into 2. That is 4 microfarad. So option A is the right answer. 4, 6, 9, 12 and Twice, twice I capacitance of each conductor to neutral. So always remember, and conductors tumble or capacitance make all twice I capacitance of each conductor with respect to the neutral point. Okay, yes. Third question The horizontally placed conductors of a single phase line operating at 50 hertz have. Uh, outside diameter of 1.6 centimeter 
and the spacing between the centers of the conductors is 6 meters. The permittivity of free space is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad per meter. The capacitance to ground per kilometer of each line. A capacitance to ground per meter alla, per kilometer of each line. Apoi unit is radhikyanam. Baki alla values in thandatinda. D thandatinda. Radius of conductor in thandatinda. Apoi namka direct formula substitute in the conductor. Yes. Apoi capacitance to ground aana. Apoi CA. Namal nairatha kandu formula. 2 pi epsilon 0 by L and D by R. Chia. Yes. Just find out. CAN is 2 into pi epsilon 0 divided by ln d by r farad per meter. Units is radhikya. 2 into 3.14 pi in a value. Epsilon 0 is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided by ln what is D? Distance between the conductor? 6 meters. Aana. Dia 1.6 centimeter. Dia is, dia is 1.6 centimeter. Centimeter like in Okay. So, dia is 1.6. So, what is radius? 0.8 by dia by 2. 0.8 centimeter. And distance D is given in 6 meters. So, I will convert it into centimeter. And the unit same maakaan. So, 6 meters is 600 centimeter. So, substitute ln d by r 600 by 0 0.8. 600 centimeter by 0 0.8 centimeter. So, either namak chimbo, what will you get the answer? You will get it as 8.4 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad per meter. Farad per meter. Let's check out the Farad question. Per kilometer of each line. Capacitance, of the ground, uh, uh, capacitance to ground per kilometer of each line. Per meter and kilometer like you convert. Meter to kilometer you convert. So you have to multiply with 10 to the power. Meter to kilometer is 10 to the power minus 3 in the denominator. In the numerator like you 10 to the power 3 out. So you will have 8.4 into 10 to the power minus 12 plus 3 minus 9 farad per kilometer. So option no 8.4 into 10 to the power minus 9. Which option? Option B. 4.2 under confusion. Akan. Line value dukum, line to neutral edukilla. option la units in the Per meter vachitana e options. So either it's all that. So option B is your right answer.